in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the um, default setup in RStudio and go into the options menu to show how you can customize the RStudio interface. So uh, what you see here, I have a script file open. This is the module 2 day 2 script that we were looking at in class. Uh, down in the files uh, view here, I've already downloaded this and um, one way that you can open a file, let me close this file, if you get it into your files um, pane, an R script file can simply be clicked and it'll open. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just download, highlight, remember this is how you run uh, functions or commands in R, highlight them, click the run button. We see that uh, we have some blue and red text, it's gone out to the internet, it's found site 18 data, it's returned its prompt, down here in my environment pane I can now see the site 18 data. I can click down on that to look at the structure of this data set, the names of the variables, the variable types, and the uh, actual raw data values at the beginning of those uh, rows for each of those variables. I can also click on this icon over here and up here in my script window I can now see uh, the actual data. Uh, in the variables and columns. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now if I go up to the uh, tools menu, um, might be a little bit different in the Mac version. I'm showing you the Windows version. Uh, it could be under preferences, uh, but you want to go to global options. And there's uh, several tabs in here uh, that we can look at. If we look at the top, it just provides some general information about um, the first thing, the R version that's being used and where it's located on your hard drive. A uh, second important piece of information is the default working directory. Now I've selected a desktop folder. Uh, the importance of setting this folder is that um, whatever folder you set and save, that generally should be the folder that RStudio opens up in the um, lower right pane uh, when you start an RStudio session. So if you go in uh, to the options menu, you change this, close our studio and reopen it, this should be the default directory. I generally uh, like to choose a directory and then download all of my R script files to that directory so they're easily accessible and uh, RStudio is pointing at this folder when it starts. By default, the only check of these, I won't go into these in detail, says restore previously open source documents at startup. What that means is that if you leave open a script file, like you can see here, when I close all our studio, if um, the script file hasn't been saved, it'll say, do you want me to save the file so that uh, any changes since the last change, changes are saved, then it'll close our studio. When you open the session again, it will bring back that script file um, so that you can leave it open so that next session it'll automatically uh, start again. So that that's all we really need to look at here. Um, there's two other tabs here I want to show you. The appearance window allows you, if you want to, um, to mess around with the actual how how the uh, screen actually looks. And so this will change your script and console windows so that you can choose different font sizes, um, different zoom factors, and different uh, screen coloring and all that good stuff. I'm going to leave it on the default. The last thing is the pane window and um, Megan talked about this. This allows you to, to change what is in uh, each quadrant of your interface. So you can um, select different things in different parts. You can move the console and the source back and forth. Uh, but anyhow, that, I just wanted to show you this is where you can access some of these features in the uh, RStudio interface. So let me demonstrate that if you close out RStudio bring it back up again. It takes me right back to where I was and because I left that script file open um, that is reopened as uh, I start again. Hope that's helpful.